On that front, you're still getting a hell of a Burning. lot, especially when this happens, the Sunstrike will miss the timing, S4 still has double edge, but he doesn't have to use it, so Burning will lose his life on the off lane. Being on the front lines, bottom lane is where we want to be looking right now, however, TPs have already come down there, and uh, okay, maybe with a jump forward, they go for the Sunstrike, Q's going to walk directly into it, a little bit more damage thanks to Malphus, Q will end up falling, but it's the jump out with the rock down from Fly, you've lost Burning too, where's your extra stun? No tail gets pulled away with the skewer, but he body blocks up X XS, he can't run away with all that spin damage going to work, you can at least jump out, there's no shrine damage, but you've got Laguna Blade, no tail. But no, they're just gonna walk in. This will bring him underneath the Observer and Sentry of OG with the pickup from the Rubik. Spectral Horn forward. The Cloud will actually separate them. G-Rack's gonna three-man hole, but where's the follow-up? No tell wants to come in, starts off the spin. The damage can be on the Q. The Horn stomp! Perfect from S4, catching out two. The RP will finally be able to connect, skewer him up, Light Strike Array, and bring him to their knees! OP with a double kill, S4 still wants more with a double edge and damage from Ana. They need a little bit more damage than that, but they don't have the Light Strike Array, stopping S4. OP able to get in range of the Shrine, he's regenerating up quickly. Ana on the run, deafening blast, can't create up space, but we killed up by the Shockwave. S4 can't dodge the Light Strike Array, it's a triple kill for OP! Positioning is spectacular! That was a great black hole by anything like And also, they're much better about using their shrines this game in well, OG. No tell. He just goes for it. There's help here. The rock will fall. And the Fettle Bond's connecting over on two. It looks like OG's going to get some freebies in the mid. Nice OBS ward and Central Ward placement. I, I, they definitely did not expect that play from No Tail right there. Just mm -hmm. gunning for them as soon as that hit. Of course, the Stampede probably caught them off guard. Uh, too, now but they were not ready to fight. They're trying to run forward. Jirax, Malphus comes off cooldown right now. Burning's making his way forward. Jirax's going to give them a bit of a stun. But as Q with the Fade Bolt will find the kill. Nice grab. Laguna Blade as well. The spin, the damage is big from Nortel. He's going to focus down towards Burning Bobrick at the Sunstrike. He doesn't run back into it, neither does Burning. In fact, Bobrick goes in. He goes aggressive, looking for the kill over on Nortel. It's not going to happen, however. There's no one. Okay, we'll now get a little bit of a vision of Spectre farming up the bottom lane, but it's Anna. He's the main target. There it is again, but the pickup! He was skewering him back. It still will be enough damage to find the kill. Alacrity stolen as well. The Fate of Bonds connects all four heroes of Invictus Gaming. They have an Observer Ward way in the back. Yeah, close but, to the Asians. And so. they, haven't, they haven't seen him run away yet, but that's the tree line. They don't actually see a hell of a lot. That tree needs to get cut down. And they now see the first thing, which is fly. But smoke will break. XXS still looking for the initiation. S4 jumps in. The skill will drag him down. The RP catching two. Plus the stray stun over onto the centaur. No stampede available. They're still stuck inside the smoke screen. Warlock will fall. S4 will join him. OP so low. No tells come out. The road sharp. But the life strike array holds him there. The sun strike. OP will even dodge that. OP gets a triple kill. And Invictus Gaming making him do no wrong. That Observer Ward, though, and the skin, it hit onto IG. But, but every ulti is up, so smoke will be there. The smoke will break. Spectral Horn comes out. You gotta keep your eyes on Roshan. Fly drops the rock, and the Fatal Bonds will connect up OP as well as XXS. So they can't blink in, so they come out to fight. Roshan still so low, but so is Burning. He can't get out the Midnight Pulse. The Corsair doesn't work, but Burning! He's still alive on the hill! OP will start doing the work! The RP will hold him there! You can't even kill him! Oh. OG lose four, they lose Roshan! OP denied himself again to heal up Burning. He's done this so many times throughout this tournament. OG oh. get rolled inside the Roche Pit. That was perfect. The fact that Noto was never able to even Omni Slash. He was caught inside, like, he wasn't even caught inside the smoke at the very, very side. He was committing with the spin. Now it's Jirax. He can't black hole. Look He's at actually caught by the smoke once again. And what do you do, Jirax? Okay, he that... can't even get the kill. Tricks of the trade will get the kill. But Noto, he'll jump in. The pickup is there from the Rubik. Burning wants to keep fighting. Now the Omni Slash will do his work. It's spinning Q, however. Noto has to try up. Burning is still alive. The Sunstrike will finally put him down. But three seconds and the man is back again. Aegis to the Immortal Second Life, nothing of value is lost. Three Aquilas can actually pick most people off right now because he has a lot of damage with the Empower. It's, he has 200 damage. Last Ooh. game, I was talking about him having a lot. He was a little below 200. XXS, OP, Invis Rune's gonna find him. Starts the Light Strike Array. Doesn't matter if you're agility up. Where's your control? Jirax. He's got the black hole, but he can't do anything. No tell. Trying to spin away. You've already got the kill on Anna. S4's gonna join him. Skewer him back over. Q can control him up, and it's inside the base. It's burning and a triple kill. It's burning, not actually getting a Bobrika. No, 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 
no, no. You do not get to have yourself a rampage. Instead, it's Laguna Boy to pick off S4. Everyone's wide from OG, and they would love this nightmare to end. But even if they do, if they tap out now, you know it's 2-0 in favor of IG in this best of five finals. That's how you punish greed. OG are like, they think they can get away with a jungle enigma, but not when Boboke is in the house. And everything's turning on him. The IG team, their own heroes could turn against him, and oh now this gosh. crowd is going to start to get to OG. And Notel wants to go again. A quick smoke up. Where's your attack? The Omni slash forward. OP takes the damage. The Hofstop, it won't connect, but the Sunstrike, it also doesn't connect. They can't hit these damn abilities. Fly is dying right now to the Ricky Maru. Bomaka is trying to go ham, but he will finally be brought down. Notel will get the 775 gold for it, but you've lost your mid racks as well as your melee on bottom. But how could they see Wait. the lanes coming? They had the Good Ricky. Good luck, Notel. s force coming down for the room. Bomaka's there. It's just done. It's just murder on the dance floor. There goes another one, and it's gone. And you're going to lose the Omni slashing uh, Juggernaut too. It's Three heroes gone, two of them without buyback. A little bit hasty uh, for him, just because they weren't oh. even strong enough to do the team fight. Oh my oh, god. He can't oh. even get out yeah. of that. This GG. is GG. Invictus Gaming, two games up. Nothing against them in the grand final. They are one win away. The Venge core, that's what they need. And Boboka. Harassing on on on. That's no fun at all. No, this is this is not fun at all. But it's bottom lane where the initiation's happening. Jirax getting on to Q. Fly went for early soul assumption. It won't be enough damage. Or will it? Jirax gets the last swing in. So OG will claim first blood. That is shield. It's pushing the lane too, but Anna is really low. Now, well, Anna gonna get attacked. Rolling Boulder. He'll dodge it. The Earth Spirit will go up to the tower. He's gonna get the courier as well. Will he Bobica? He'll lose his life. The courier will survive. At the same time, we're now reaching a point where IG can feel a little bit more aggressive. In fact, XXS, you can see Notel. He knew what was coming, but it's down on top of the shrine. The damage is high. You'll lose the Monkey King. And now in comes Ember Spirit. The Searing Chase hitting hard. SF's already going to go down. Bobica may join him as a triple kill for burning. Just sitting on the tree line, doing all the damage with Q to support him. Well, no one's showing themselves on bottom lane. That's where Monkey King is. You don't have to fight this one. Another entangle, so he has to press the attack a little bit earlier. The flies moving in too. So they're here, ready for the fight. The Ember Spirit jumping in. The Spirit won't do the damage. That's done very quick with the swap. No tail slow. Savage roll might cause problems. Bobica out of a rolling ball to fall. So no tail will fall. The burning may be a casualty of war too. Fly, is there another burst damage with the spirit's fall? Yes, there is. XSS also trapped in the tree lines. Soul Assumption up for Fly. Not enough man to actually use it, however, but it won't matter when Anna will come in for the double kill. Sort of play. That's a lot of damage to the mid-tier one tower. OP's able to take it, but it's top lane. XXS being initiated on by GRX. No tail's there, but with the press the attack. Overwarming on, sorry, Jirax forced to get out, but the swap is there from Burning, and we have ourselves a winner with the duel. First bonus points of damage, not to mention, friends have arrived. Rolling Boulder will clip no tail on the way out. But it's still a very difficult place to fight. Uh, again, it's the fake tree. Do they know? How well do you know your Dota map? He knows it very well. Jirax goes in for the Wukong command. The double stun, however, may cost enough from for the rock. In with the double stun. Burning was pulled into it, but it's acting out the they die at the same time. OP will let the Requiem go. So less damage being done. The Wukong command still stayed up for a long time, but Notal can't survive. They just don't have the damage output in order to bring down IG. My god, how, they are so used to playing the Monkey King. And there are there are Pretty tanky and pretty hard to burst Ooh, down. They got friends here. S4 potentially can blink. Bobica also going to come in range. And the Creep Wave arrives. They get the double call off with the Creep Wave and the Wukong command following into a double stun. Great movement from OG. A double kill for S4. Ooh. After the pickoff on Burning, they transition this into heavy tower damage. What a sick play from Jerex. Jerex is playing this Monkey King very, very well, scouting out with a vision. This and now he gets the other side. Yep, he actually annoying. sees OP moving in, so the familiars try to create more space. Stun number one. Jerex fell off the tree so he doesn't have his ton available just yet but Ember Spirit Anna comes in where's your extra damage Jirax misses on the double stun he's looking for Q in tech burning we'll swap him back in two hits from OP is more than enough to deal with that pesky little monkey and the jump out Anna has to spear does he spear it in how many of those are even left Jirax jumps away still fearful his trees gonna be brought down no tell moves in the bear they have to see inside the pit the resummon familiars they're looking on top of Roshan the stun Roshan bashed SF for the time the initiation happened the kick through and as the agency model, it was killed off by OG. The Kalimbi will be there, but the Requiem Assaults is causing troubles, but not as much as the Wukong command. So your Ember Spirit back to life. He'll searing chains up. So XXS cannot steal the inventory. It's Anna who will take it and fly. Looks for his target. 
Boracca might be the easiest one. The Monkey King pouncing for but Boracca just rolling boulders away. But no! The turnaround! He'll find one! The Blade Mail is up! Fly does not want to hit him! The Familiar tries to create space. Anna still stalking them, however. He's got the Syrian Chains back up again. Fly with a slow. Familiar's back up, but it'll go down as well. That's both of the waves of Familiar's drop. And one that he really wants to damage down this mid racks with, if as possible. Venge Spear, Vengeful Spirit's position going to be key here. Four gets the call off. They're holding OP there. VS gets a swap out for the Roth. Perfect! With the seven fatal bonds, there's nothing OG can do. They're falling apart. The stun, maybe there is. Jurex throws the ulti out. The Wukong's command is going to sit right on the edge of it, covered by the tree. So at least pick off the golem. Nabasha is stunning over on Bobaka. He can't get out of the pit, but Jurex is dying to the magnetize. Bobaka will survive with stick charges. Three down for OG. The buyback comes out from Fly. Or oh, they're trying do is create a little bit of space. Very important that he was able to RG stop. Trying yes. to be the aggressors. They just let the Wukong's command go. Lock in the SF. Triple remnants being committed, but OP. The BKB won't save him, but the Magnetite is on the duel as well. Nowhere to go, but down for Ana. He'll be brought down. No tell on the run out of here as well. They have to go outside the Wukong's now, but no tell. More issues. The stuns are there from burning. Hold him in position. They're bonded together. The fate of OG is tied. As for the Blade Mouth, can't do enough work. No tail, the TB out, he still dies a fountain! Jurex took damage from Boraka! It was enough to find the kill! Flies in no man's land! He will be pushing up the daisies as XSX triple kill for him! They smoke up now, OG. How do you do this? It has to be the call of a lifetime now from S4. The, tr the pressure is on him. There goes your call. OP being dragged in. Familiar's right on top. They do a heavy amount of damage. There's your follow-up stun. But XXS just triggers his own BKB. Looking towards the racks. Can they control him up? OP as well as XXS. They just focus on that. Now S4 in again. Gets the call up on the rock. It is perfect. It'll bring down the house. OG magnetized up. And really, they are losing this hard. OG G will buy back heavy, but they've lost their melee racks up on the top. They need a consolation prize. S4, he's able to get the dunk down. So Burbaco will fall. No tell. Maybe. No. Burning will swap him in. No tell. Run away. OP too much damage. No tell. Can't be protected. He's gone. That's a die back from him as well. And there's more. As they just keep going. S4 jump in. Look for the spin damage. Get a triple kill. Holy crap. He got so many spins off. The damage is there. He dunks too early over OP. But Jirax with the basher. And the tier 4 tower. He still can't do it! The immortal feed sends over the corpses of the OG lineup! <laughs> they really, without Wukong's command, they just have no fight really and I do how, oh. like how they're like, okay, let's just go for the wreck. They're not going to fight us. No Tell's trying it. Q is standing his ground with the upheaval. No Tell's got the range of this, so he's okay with that. And Q, low on life. They just want him down. No Tell, he's got the movement speed. Q starts the TP. Two hits from No Tell. He savage draws to cancel it. So they'll at least get the consolation prize, which is Q. They should get the con. Okay, the ticket. Okay, they have the consolation prize. Save SF build. The Solar Crest, into the Pipe, into the Dragon Lance, into the Pipe. Oh, oh Jerex! No, no, Roshan stunned. Roshan stunned when there was only two of them there. Did they actually cotton on to that fact? Now Jerex lets the Wukong command out. The three-man stun flies on the way in. He'll jump up. Roshan's low. The kick is down. OP as the Aegis, the Immortal, and the taunt is there. There was a YOLO play from OG, but what choice did they have? IG, they are the unstoppable force. Burning will swap them back in. Savage Raw creates more space for Fly, but will it be enough, you're gonna lose your bear. They stun, they hold him in, Anna will jump up, but now he's magnetized up, Bobaka and Burning teaming up, Anna's gone, no buyback available. This will be it if no tile goes down. They're already up against Megas, no one's left alive to defend. GG well played, Invictus Gaming taking 3-0 against what looks like an unstoppable OG. Invictus Gaming win DAC. 3-0 against OG. What a feat. The crowd, the almost overly full stadium. Look at that oh, relief. Cheer. He's done it. Invictus Gaming have done it. China have looked for a Titan team.